Our morning rush starts with the trial of Fabian Gonzalez, a man accused of helping to dismember and burn the body of 10 year old Victoria Martins. In just hours, Gonzalez's cousin Jessica Kelly said to testify and we'll dive into the details of the night Victoria died. Kelly is the only one we know was inside the apartment the night that Victoria died. She is also charged in the case but took a plea deal in order to testify against Gonzalez. Gonzalez's defense is trying to paint a picture that Kelly killed the girl. The prosecution says the fourth unknown suspect is the murderer, but Gonzalez put the girl in harm's way that night. With the horrific images and scenes set to be introduced throughout that trial, experts say that this could have a traumatic effect on jurors. Now, experts say that some jurors can walk away from a trial unaffected, while others aren't so lucky. Now, we called the courts yesterday to ask if there will be a psychologist for the members of the jury after this trial. They would not comment. Meanwhile, the trial of a former Las Cruces police officer accused of killing a man with a chokehold during an arrest is heading into day four. A former officer, Christopher Smelzer, is accused of killing Antonio Valenzuela by using that chokehold. In 2020, retired Albuquerque Police Sergeant Damon Fay took the stand yesterday as an expert witness, saying that was not necessary. We'll continue to follow the trial for you today. And here's a look at our hourly forecast. This morning, temperatures will be climbing from the low 70s. A very warm start to the day and heating up quick into the 80s by 10 a.m. with plenty of sunshine. A mother is accused of stabbing her 11 year old son to death in Hobbs. Lee County deputies say that Bruce Johnson died and he told them that his mother Mary was responsible for his uh, stab wounds. The boy's father told investigators that he and his son moved to Hobbs from Oklahoma to get away from Mary, who was abusing the boy. She is now charged with first degree murder. Albuquerque police trying to clarify why they were after the suspect. The night a SWAT situation turned into a deadly house fire. 15 year old Brett Rosen now died. He was with 27 year old Keant Kelly. ABD says Kelly had two outstanding warrants and was a person of interest in several cases, including a murder. Officials are investigating the alleged communication between an alleged victim and her suspected attacker. Police arrested 41 year old Jeremy Guthrie for drunk driving on July 5th. The family of the, alleged, of the alleged victim says that the girl was impregnated by Guthrie and suffered a miscarriage when she was just 12 years old. Screenshots sent to News 13 show uh, of the messages show that the family says that Guthrie was sending her from jail. Erica. And here's a look at the threat index. It's moderate today. We will see storms in the northern and western high terrain with some heavy rain possible in those areas with burn scar flooding. A man suspected in at least two bank robberies is waking up behind bars. Federal investigators say Randall Becker was the man seen on surveillance video last month at the Bank of the West near MLK and Broadway. He's also accused of holding up the first financial credit union at Coors and Montano. The feds say Becker admitted to both robberies. A teenager accused of shooting and killing another teen in downtown Albuquerque will stay behind bars until trial. Investigators say that 16 year old Angelo Baldonado shot and killed another 16 year old, that is Josue Ruiz, in a downtown alley. It's after the two agreed to meet there and fight. Yesterday, Judge Lucy Solomon ruled that Baldonado will be held behind bars until trial. There is a renewed push this morning for a high speed rail through New Mexico. The idea is being proposed by Las Cruces Senator Bill Souls. The train would reach speeds of up to 200 miles per hour from Chihuahua, Mexico through New Mexico, then all the way to Denver. Erica. Let's get a look at the morning drive. The maps are looking clear. No accidents or slowdowns as of now. And Tracker is headed east on I 40 near 6th Street. Looks like things are still moving along. An 87 year old man is now on a journey and he's hoping to break a record in the process. Dale Graybeard Sanders is on a mission to paddle down the entire Mississippi River it's to the Gulf of Mexico. Now, once he reaches the Gulf, he will be the oldest person ever to paddle down the entire river. Oh, good for him. Yeah. Time now for the five facts. At number five this morning, a new grocery store concept is in the works in Rio Rancho. The village at Rio Rancho at Unser and Westside is now being spearheaded by Albertsons. It's going to feature an Albertsons Market Street restaurants as well as other retailers all inside of the store. Space has been in the works now for about two decades. Officials say that it could bring about 400 jobs to the area. The village is scheduled to be complete by next fall. On to number four now. There's a renewed push this morning for a high speed rail through New Mexico. The idea is being proposed by Las Cruces Senator Bill Souls. The train would travel between 150 and 200 miles per hour from Chihuahua, Mexico, through New Mexico, then all the way to Denver. Senator Souls acknowledges that this would be a long, challenging, and pricey project. However, he's arguing it would be well worth it. New tracks would need to be built to make this high speed system safe. And at number three, we will see some mountain storms accumulation, likely in the northern and western high terrain. We could see some heavy downpours there. On to number two now, mother is accused of stabbing her 11 year old son to death in Hobbs. Mary Johnson and her son Bruce were found with stab wounds at a home on North Del Paso over the weekend. 
Lee County deputies say Bruce died at the hospital, but not before telling them that his mother was responsible. Mary Johnson survived what deputies say were self-inflicted stab wounds. The boy's father told investigators he and his son moved to Hobbs from Oklahoma to get away from Mary, who was abusing the boy. She eventually moved to Hobbs to spend time with him before their divorce went through. She's now charged with first-degree murder. And at number one, the trial for Fabian Gonzalez, the man accused of helping dismember and burn the body of 10-year-old Victoria Martins, continues today. Jessica Kelly will be back on the stand this morning. Now, Kelly is the only person we know was inside the apartment. That's when 10-year-old Victoria Martins was murdered. Now, she is testifying in the case against her cousin, Fabian Gonzalez. Gonzalez's defense is arguing that Jessica Kelly killed the 10-year-old when Martins was left alone with the just-released convict. Well, the defense doubled down in court yesterday that Gonzalez had nothing to do with the death, and they claimed that he did not help clean up the crime scene, but the prosecution is saying otherwise.